Good morning. And what I want to talk about this morning is how to capture 4K game footage using the Xbox One X. Now, there are some game capture devices out there that will capture in 4K, but they are expensive and they do take a bit of setting up. So the ability to do it with the Xbox One X is pretty nice. Now, the first thing I have to say is obviously the footage you're seeing here is not 4K and it's pretty washed out and not very nice. Well, the reason for that is because I'm having to use my 1080p camera because my capture device will actually cause problems here. And the reason it causes problems is if I have the capture device in line, it's a 1080p capture device and it will tell the Xbox One X that I'm using a 1080p screen, in effect. So even though I'm outputting to my screen at 4K, as soon as I put my capture device in line, it sees it as 1080p and all my menus and all my settings that I would have for capturing in 4K will be set so that I can't actually capture in 4K or set any of those things up. So if I film it using my camera, I can actually show those menus and I can show you how to set this up. So bear with me on that. At the end of this, there will be some footage that is being captured from the Xbox One X in 4K. So you will be able to see, to some degree at least, how well it does. So all that being said, what do you need? Well, obviously you'll need an Xbox One X and the other thing you'll need is a external USB hard drive. Now it has to be USB 3 and I believe it has to be above 256 gig. Obviously most drives these days are a bit larger than that and you can pick them up fairly cheap so it shouldn't be a huge option. The issue that you might have though even if you're using an external hard drive already is that you can't use the same drive that you use for games and apps. That causes problems and you won't be able to do this. So you will need a separate drive specifically for capture. Uh, let's go in and show you what I mean here. If you go, if you hit the Xbox button and you go into settings and then you go to system and storage. If you look on here, the first drive you'll see is the internal one. And then from there, we've got the Xbox game capture and the one along from that is Xbox Games 2, which is where I have my games and apps. Now, if you press A here, you will see the option to set as capture location. But if you do that, you're not going to be able to use it in the same way that you would this other drive that is set for pictures, music and video. So don't set your capture drive for games and apps because you won't be able to then read that drive on a PC. And you will need to read this on a PC because you can't do any editing of any of the captures you do here on the Xbox itself. There's a limitation at present as to what you can do with 4K captures. So you will need a separate drive and you will need to edit it on a PC. So if we click on this one, you can see the option to set as captured location and you would set that as your capture location. Obviously, I've already done that, so we don't need to do that now. So once that's done, then obviously there are a few other settings that you need to change. So let's go right out of here and back to the, the desktop and then hit the Xbox button again and go into settings again. Obviously, you could just go back to this screen, but I just wanted to go out and back in again just to show you. And what you want to do from there is you want to go into preferences and then broadcast and capture. Press A and that brings you up to this menu and you want allow broadcasts and game captures and that needs to be ticked. And obviously, if you're going to be using the mic, then tick that as well if you want to use that. I just want to capture the gameplay footage, so I'm not interested in the mic at present. Now, this one can be quite confusing because it says record that duration and it gives you the option of 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Now, <laughs> you might be thinking, as I did initially, that well, that's no use to me. If I want to capture some gameplay, I want it rather longer than 30 or 15 seconds. But that's not an issue and we'll get to that in a minute. You want to set the clip resolution to 4K. Now, if I had my capture device in line, as I was telling you, I wouldn't have that option. 
Basically, the only options I would have would be 720p and 1080p because my capture device, which is 1080p, would be telling my Xbox, even though I've got a 4K screen, that my screen is 1080p. So if you're having these issues and you're using a capture device and it's 1080p, that might be your problem. So get your capture device out of the circuit, if you like, take it out and disconnect it from your Xbox and you should have the 4K option. Now, capture location, you've got internal or Xbox game capture. Now, Xbox game capture is the one that we set with the external hard drive, and that's the one you want. You don't want internal. Obviously, you won't be able to take these and edit them when you're using the internal drive, so it does have to be set to game capture, and that's the only option you've got at this stage if you're recording in 4K. So once you've set all those, all that's required now is to go in and record some gameplay and have a look and see how well that does. So if we go back to the desktop again, and I've already got Wolfenstein 2 set up, and that is one of the games that has already been patched for 4K. And for my money, it looks pretty good. So let's go in here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna continue filming with my camera, but I will put this footage that I'm capturing up from the capture that I've done on the Xbox. So you'll be able to see what the Xbox can do. So if we go into the game, and obviously it was already loaded, so it says resume. So if I now from there, I hit the Xbox button and it brings up the guide. So from the guide, what you want is if you look down at the bottom next to where it says gold and game pass, you've got three options. Y is screenshot, X is record that, now, you might think that that's what you want to hit, but if you hit record that now, what will happen is that you will get a 30 second clip or a 15 second clip if you set it as 15 seconds in your options. What you actually want is capture options. So if you click on the little, whatever that button is, I don't know what they call that one these days, never did know what it was called. You click on that one, it's the left hand one just below the Xbox button. Click on that and it gives you these options. Capture 4K, and it's got record from now up to one hour, capture a screenshot, capture what happened 15 to 30 seconds, and that's the same option as record, record now. So what we want is record from now up to one hour. That is a restriction. You can only record up to one hour, as I found out yesterday when seeing if it would actually go longer, and no, it doesn't. It cuts off at one hour, and you will get a little thing come up and say, so now it says recording started and we can resume the game. So I'm in the game, here we are. And this is the recording I'm doing and I will put this up so you can see. Yeah. The lighting looks pretty nice and everything. And down there, let's have a wander around. I'll stick a little bit of other footage up with me doing some fighting at the end of this video so you can have a look at it. But yeah, that is the capture that the Xbox One X does in 4K. So anyway, that's that. If you want to stop the recording, you again press the Xbox button. And if you look down at the bottom again, it'll show you how long you've been recording for. And it's currently just over a minute. And if you press X, it will stop the recording and it will give you a little message. So let's do that now. And there you go, there's the message. Game clip recorded. And you could go into the Media Player app and you could look at those, but you're not gonna be able to edit them on the Xbox, as I've already said. So let's go back to the desktop. And if I go into Media Player now, which is already there because I've been playing around with it, click on Media Player and you'll see all the captures I've done. And they're on my external hard drive. And if I go out of there and I go back into Settings and System and Storage, I can go in here and view contents from there as well. And as you can see, they are on my external <laughs> hard drive, game DVR it says, and there they are. 
I had various options there because I've got other things connected to the Xbox as well, like a, a, a NAS drive and so on. But yeah, they're on the external drive. And now what I can do is once I've switched off the Xbox, I can unplug that, take it to my computer and I can edit these and put them into a video as I'm going to do with this video. So anyway, that's that. Hopefully that will help you guys out. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. I think the recordings that the Xbox One X does are pretty nice, actually, from what I've seen of them. My boy the other day thought I was playing. He came in and he sat down and he thought I was actually playing the game. He didn't realise it was actually a recording that I'd done using the Xbox. So that's a pretty good sign. But yeah, uh, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye. Ja, gerade. Es ist zu ruhig. Hier ist...